During the early 1970s, the communications array of the KSC was degrading severely, so they decided to launch a constellation of ion-propelled solar satellites to provide communication in case that satellite constellation ever went down. These are the three companies submitting their proposals. The first one is called the Copter Toy Test. This vehicle is based on the helicopter toy sold at most children's stores, at least on Kerbin that is. This vehicle was being submitted along with another one by Kerbidine Systems. This vehicle may look really silly, but it has the decency to include the like and subscribe button. So during this test, nothing went according to plan. According to Kyberdyne, basically the procession of the vehicle resulted in unnecessary spinning and unstable flight. The status of this vehicle has been shelved. The second launch was a vehicle called the Umbrella Recovery System. The system was designed by an engineer who spent way too much time at the beach when Jeb flew over with his fighter jet and blew the umbrella off of his wife. The engineer got this idea and copied it from his wife's umbrella. However, this vehicle resulted in huge instability issues, which the KSE was not happy about. They wanted reusability because their budgets were getting very, very thin, which is why they started switching to SSTOs in this early decade. This vehicle developed a nose-down propensity, so its status has been shelved. And K-Space's vehicle involved a brand new propulsion system set up that has never been tested before as of this flight. This vehicle uses panel-based spring landing legs, deployable fins to redirect it to a landing near the KSC for recovery, and a second stage intended to boost the payload all the way to orbit. The first stage is almost entirely recoverable. While it has never been done before, it has actually been considered for by minute Kerbal scientists for at least a few years now. For all these vehicles, drug shoots were allowed to decelerate the vehicle to reduce the amount of damage done. While this may not have been necessary on K-Space's vehicle, it did prove that it was a little helpful in covering most of the vehicle in one piece. This vehicle has its status is considered. While it did not land in completely one piece, it is, the engineers are certain that it can be modified to do so with very little effort. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below on what you want to see next. 
I release a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. I am the Astronaut. Let's fly.